Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to work on the radiator. So um, we want to drain all the coolant and put got brand new coolant for it. So the first thing the director is going to do is to um, pop the cap just to make sure there's not any pressure in it. Once again, you don't want to do this when this is hot. So this has been sitting, it's cooled off for a couple hours. I'm going to just slightly pop the cap, just a little bit of a turn, just to make sure there's no built up pressure. And we'll go from there. Okay. This is one of those caps that it you have to push down and turn even more to get it out. That way it kind of keeps you from accidentally opening up and having it uh, blow off and go everywhere. So that's good. So we've got that off of there. Uh, the next thing we need to do is access the drain, which um, there's an access panel on the bottom. I've already pulled that out. Uh, you can see in one of my other videos what a pain in the butt that was because mine was kind of. Uh, uh, it welded itself in place basically. So now we're going to grab the drain tool or the drain hose and route it to the bottom and get something to drain it into. So let's start with that. Okay, so there's a drain hose here. Now we hand on, I'm going to route it to the bottom. A little plastic cover on the end. Oop, there we go, it's off of there. And I'm going to wrap that to the bottom of the tractor. Need a bucket. So while this drains, I want to talk about why I'm doing this. And one of the major reasons is that I just don't know how well this machine was taken care of before it came in. So um, I kind of believe it's probably going to be safe than sorry. So I'm going to, just going to change all of the coolant. I know that it's supposed to be good to about 6,000 hours under normal use with, you know, checking and changing the filter. And I just don't know how often any of that stuff is done. So uh, what I am going to do is just dump the fluid and completely replace it. Um, one thing that I suspect is that the, um, the radiator thermostat is bad. Um, so I've got a new one of those. So I really needed to grind this anyway so I could get it out. So rather than put back the old fluid, I just wanted to put in brand new stuff. That way I'm totally sure that uh, you're gonna have many, many years of life on this cool. Okay, I've got the coolant drained, and now I'm going to try to get to the regulator. So there's three bolts up here, they're 12 millimeters. I have uh, cracked them already with the wrench. I'm going to try to leave the coolant hose on. Hopefully there's enough flex in it where I can just leave that attached and not have to worry about taking that clamp off, but we'll see how that works here in just a second. I always like to place my bolts in a way that I'll remember the orientation or at least the position of where they went. So that way I put the same bolt back in the same hole. Okay, there's the three bolts. I'm going to see if I can crack this loose. There we go. Okay. So here's the regulator. We're gonna pull that out. There we go, there's the, there's the old regulator. Doesn't seem that bad actually, it seems, seems pretty clean, which is great. And then I bought a new gasket, cause you normally always wanna replace these gaskets when you take things apart. There's a couple bucks and they normally get destroyed when they come out, and that one did. So it kinda of got, messed up when it came out and I bought a couple of extras just in case because these are just these are cheap a couple bucks so here's a new regulator I can't remember the orientation of this awesome we should have it on video so let's go back and look <laughs> okay the next thing I wanted to do is I noticed that this little this little tube here had some wear on it and so while I got the coolant drained I thought I would get this loose as well. Now the way these come off, 
is they have a little fitting that tensions itself. So you just basically grab it and move it off of there. They're self-tightening clamps, which is kind of cool. Um, but it's been stuck on there for a while, so I'm sure I'm sure getting off of here is going to be the fun part. Okay, so I'm going to cut that off and try to pull it off. First, I'm going to verify that I've got the new piece. That's pretty good. Before I totally cut this off, I am just going to cross-check this part number and make sure that it's the right one. Kind of painted in place. <laughs> but yeah, it's not gonna be fun either. Okay. Ouch. Okay. Yep. Okay, one thing I also got is some new um, some new clamps to replace the ones that are on there. It's a pretty good practice too, because you never know how stretched the old ones are. How fatigued. Yeah, so we're going to just kind of get these on here, get it started. And we're going to go ahead and slowly try to work these on. Maybe we should start here first. Would it make sense to move them up with a little bit of coolant? That's not a terrible idea. Oh, see? Look how smart Colleen is. Ah! So smart. So, ended up... Just want to make sure you've got some clearance here. You can see that it... Uh, when we first put it on, it was rubbing it directly. And so just kind of rotating the tube around and trying not to kink the tube so it has some clearance between the, the pulley and the tube. And you want to make sure you get these passed. There's a little, there's a little barb on the tube and you want to make sure you get it past that. Here's a new one. The, I'm glad I bought two because the other one didn't really like as much. We are filming late at night because uh, Bobby just loves to work. Yeah, so anyhow, we got it all together, and we, I went through and I read the actual service instruction. It said that we needed to use a gasket sealer on the housing side. So I had to drive up and get some gasket sealer. testing the water regulator. And it's supposed to start opening around 76 degrees Celsius. So let's take a look. So we're past that and it's not opening. So that's that's good. That means that this is actually bad. So it's supposed to be open fully at around uh, I think 90 C. So we're going to turn this on and increase the temperature a little bit more. So it's supposed to be fully open there. Um, I believe it's still not, which is good. That means we were right to replace it. Um, they're supposed to be replaced at 3000 hours anyways, but uh, I was having an engine coolant overheat warning and really hoping it was this because it could be a bunch of other stuff but if it was this this is probably the simplest one so that'll do it for this video in the next video we're going to tackle a complete coolant flush as well as putting new coolant back in
Thanks for watching and please consider subscribing.